It's now week three of the Y Athlete Summer Program, and in this week's installment, the students discover the technology behind Polar Watches and how it can improve their training this summer. What we want to do is we want to educate the kids on the uh, utensils they, uh, they're using, they're utilizing this summer with their Polar Hurry monitors, and we wanted them to really get to learn to listen to their body, to understand when maybe they have to slow down a little bit and not consistently just keep push, push, push uh, to make sure we maximize their training efforts when they're out here this summer. They're wearing one of our uh, fitness monitors called the FT60, and that product is designed to uh, help them cross over certain heart rate zones. So working in the same zone is one of the things that we talked about is uh, and at some point you start to diminish your return on doing the same thing over and over. So, you know, there's a lot of talk about muscle confusion and getting into a low zone and a high zone and using that with interval training and things like that. And that's so that your body doesn't get one uh, used to one specific thing. If it gets used to one specific thing, then that's all your body's going to know. So um, when you're in a game, you're at one zone. When you're working uh, in practices, you're another. So we want to make sure that ultimately they're game ready for everything that they do, which means working in different zones and being able to have their body adjust to whatever they're doing. Uh, the watches are connected to a, a heart monitor that we wear and uh, it counts our heart rate, what percent of our max heart rate we're using. It also calculates calorie burn and how long the workout is. Now that the students are educated in proper training methods, they'll now look to use it in their next challenge when they head to Lifetime Fitness for some intensive boot camp. So they're working for one minute and that's max effort, you know, 75 to 90 percent of their max heart rate is what we're looking for um, using the Polar Watches, which also will count their calories, so it's very, very beneficial to have that. Uh, but the resting, the recovery period, is going to be able to tell us uh, how quickly or how efficient that person is at utilizing oxygen. First thing we did was circuit training, then we had to put our feet on towels at the to the gym, that was a full core workout. We had to throw a medicine ball up against the wall and catch it and squat down. We had to pull it. We went on ropes when they were leaning on a towel. I was also working out the arms. With this day in the books, the students look back at the accomplishments they've overcome in their summer training. I think we've gotten, I mean, better uh, physically and mentally, and we're growing in uh, leadership and all sorts of qualities that are beneficial. And I think what we really notice now, and we're going, we're in the middle of week three now, is the camaraderie of the kids together, cheering each other on when they see somebody else is struggling, and really trying to help them, you know, get through a tough workout, or you know, knowing you're going to show up and see smiles on their faces because they all know they're driven and uh, and uh, they have an end game of what they're trying to accomplish through sports. And I think that's been really the the, the most positive part.